Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to remove background noise when you're recording on location in a noisy events hall. Okay, before we get started, if you enjoy this video at any point, hit the like button and remember to subscribe and also ding the bell so you never miss another video on my channel. I do them weekly, audio production tips and tricks, podcasting, and a whole lot more. And today we're working in Adobe Audition to get rid of, uh, well, audio that sounds like this. So that's the noisy hall here and here and in context. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Okay, so we've got someone speaking there in a noisy hall. Now, if I go ahead and use something like noise reduction, restoration, denoise, uh, and push it right up to 100%, it doesn't have any impact. Look at that. Let's go to before and after. No impact whatsoever. Switch on spectral frequency view as well. Shift and D. Hello, everybody. Okay, so no impact at all from the noise, the denoise effect. That's why we need to get a little more clever and focus on just uh, the noise from the events hall. So something like this, or now there is a little tut there, so I'm going to remove that tut so it doesn't impact the noise I want to remove. Uh, maybe a little extra there that I want to get rid of, so we can just focus on that noisy background chatter. Okay, and then I'll go into effects, noise reduction, restoration. We're going to use the sound remover for this, and we're going to teach it the sound model of that audio. Learn sound model like that. There we go. It's done it. Select everything, and let's listen to exactly how it sounds right now. Uh, enhance for speech should be on, because if it's not, you can get something that sounds like a Dalek. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's show. Now, if you're going for the alien voice, then that's perfect. But if you want a proper voice, Enhanced for Speech needs to be on with the sound remover when doing these kind of uh, remedies uh, on your audio. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's show. Not too bad, is it? We can always try decreasing or increasing the FFT size. Let's try increasing. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's show. I... Okay, at 8192, we get a bit more background noise, so I'm going to dip back down to 4096. If you go too low, it's going to start jittering your audio a bit. <laughs> no, that's definitely no good. 1024. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Still jittery, so we'll stick at 4096 there. Um, because the uh, sound that we're trying to remove is quite complex, we need to increase the sound model complexity and the refinement passes a bit. Let's do that uh, to work a bit harder. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's show. Okay, sometimes that's going to, like, adversely impact the speech, so let's pull it down a bit. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's show. Okay, so we've already got something that's much better than our original. We can now apply that and be gone with much of the background noise. You might want to tweak uh, some of the settings in there. Let me show you which settings in particular you'll want to look at to get the best possible sound. First, always make sure Enhance for Speech is on if it's dialogue uh, and there's background chitter-chatter going on. That's really going to help. FFT size uh, increasing uh, will be a little more lenient on the speech, but bring more of the background noise back in. And then, of course, reducing that is going to really severely impact your speech at some stage or another. Uh, with the sound model that we're trying to remove, uh, sometimes increasing that can have a positive impact, but can also degrade the speech as well. And if you find that the speech uh, is quite complex in and of itself, and you'd like to retain more of that because it's starting to get artifacty and affected by the sound remover, just try increasing the content complexity a little bit. And if you like, also uh, try with the refinement passes. But really, this is a very, very powerful tool. It will definitely make your audio sound different, uh, sometimes for the better, occasionally for the worse, but definitely worth a try. If you're trying other effects in the noise reduction arsenal in Adobe Audition, uh, such as uh, denoise, adaptive noise reduction, or uh, the noise reduction process, none of that's worth bring out the big guns, sound remover, teach it the sound model of only the audio you want to remove, and you'll be on to a winner. Talking about removing audio, if you are podcasting and you've got an air conditioning unit, a fan like a computer fan or anything else that's noisy in the background or echo in your big space that you're recording in, go and check out my pro podcast presets. They have specific presets that allow you to remove noise just like this. And also presets for specific podcasting microphones as well to help you sound your best. MRC.FM forward slash presets is where you need to go. That is MRC.FM forward slash presets. And remember, I have weekly audio production tutorials. Just hit subscribe on my channel right now. Music Radio Creative. 
Dot